Hey y'all, welcome to DIY Wednesday. Today I have a special guest with me. This is Fairy Gabriella or Gabriella Bogart. She has her own channel. It's youtube.com slash fairy Gabriella, so go check her out. And this video will also be up on her channel. Today we are going to make glass jar pumpkins, um, Frankenstein, ghosts, what else? Cat. This is the first one we did and it came out okay, so we're going to try and do some more um, a little bit different. These are the supplies we're going to need. We are going to need some acrylic paint, a couple of jars. And you can get these jars at the Dollar Tree For or the Dollar Star. Dollar. They're a dollar. Dollar Tree has these actual stripey pumpkin shaped jars, so they're perfect. And you'll need some key light candles, one for each jar. You'll need some sponge brushes. If you want to add googly eyes, you can. You can get colored ones. Um, I'm just using the big ones so you can actually see the googly, the, the googly eyes. So you can get these anywhere. We have those at Dollar Tree also. Mm -hmm. And um, you need some Mod Podge. And if you like, you can you can use stickers to help you out with shapes and with the characters or Halloween stuff you need. Mm -hmm. If so you, you don't want to make like a cat or a pumpkin, you can just paint the outside of the jar and then put stickers on it. So let's get started. <laughs> These paints are about $4 for, um, you get all the primary colors plus a few extra colors. Now be sure you put a nice and thin coat because you want the light to actually shine through the color. Like this, Mom? Hmm? Yeah. Try to paint up and down. And I'm going to draw my eyes on just like I did on this one. I think I'm going to make this one a little more scary though. Creepy. Make sure the orange is dry or it will not work and the orange will come off. So next, while we're waiting on all this to dry, we are going to Mod Podge. Make sure that your black is completely dry before you Mod Podge over it. So right now we're going to work on the other side. So make sure when you Mod Podge, um, you do a nice thick coat, real gentle. Don't press hard or the other paint will come off. So it's going to look like that. And I'm going to go all the way around being very careful with the black, making sure I don't see any shiny spots and making sure that it's dry before I Mod Podge over that. Here we are, um, they have Mod Podge and we're just waiting for them to dry. And don't forget to leave the comments below and tell us which one's your favorite. My favorite is Frankenstein. If you do these, send a picture to my mom's Twitter at Madison Bogart. The link's below and don't forget to subscribe. Ooh. Love y'all, bye.